As on June 19th of years past, the celebration began with religious services. The sermon revolving around the real point of Juneteenth, the day blacks in Texas are told of the Emancipation Proclamation some 110 years ago. Outside, on land granted blacks by the state of Texas, specifically for Juneteenth, food was prepared. Children played while mothers and fathers sought shade and the cool air of a nearby lake. But unlike years past, while the crowd enjoyed the annual nearly all-black picnic, there was a smaller crowd. Before, the celebration had attracted travelers from throughout the country. But times have changed. Well, there has been a general curtailment on travel, no doubt the price of gasoline, one thing. And then there are those people on jobs from which they cannot just take off. And uh, distance, no doubt. To be sure, there are cars from such exotic places as Wyoming and California, but their numbers were few. As one North Texan put it, his job seemed shaky and this would probably be his only trip of the summer. After this, he said, he just plans to save money. He was not alone. Two years ago, they say, as many as 20,000 people would have converged on this site. It is a tradition. But like so many other traditions, the Mahaya Juneteenth celebration is suffering. The result of too few jobs and too little money. This is Paul Henderson, Channel 8 News, Mahia, Texas.